Yeah, you heard that right. I've been working on this system for literal years, but now I think I finally got it. So buckle up, baby, cause we're going for a ride of knowledge. I feel like a discount in this frizzle. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a lizard, but I do have this. Darling, there she goes, emotional support. We love her. Typically, people work on one thing at a time till it gets done, and then they move on to the next thing in their list. That is really great if you're self-motivated and you're really organized. Personally, I'm more chaotically organized. I usually need a strong reason to work on projects and my interests switch a lot. So I'm gonna show you my system and how it works for me. Usually I have a bunch of different kind of projects that I wanna do, like films and YouTube videos and comics and illustrations. For example, these YouTube videos. Usually I write four scripts at a time, switching wherever my interest takes me. Sometimes a script will be done a month before I actually film it, and other times it'll be on the day that I'm filming. Sometimes a script isn't working and I have to scrap it. Or sometimes it turns into five different scripts. And that's not only on YouTube. Right now I'm working on a project. I finished the script in November and I'm filming it now. And on top of that, I'm working on my next film. It seems like a lot, right? But realistically, I actually only work two hours a day. It could be four, but I don't want to wake up early and I'm very tired. And I'm very tired. I don't know why I'm doing that voice. It's insane. Because as long as I work on something, anything for those two hours, my projects eventually do get done. This is what's called productive procrastination. So instead of social media or watching TV, because I love the projects that I'm working on so much, I usually try and spend whatever free time I have finishing those projects, even if I only have five minutes. So when I get frustrated on my film, I switch to writing YouTube videos. And when I don't feel like writing, I usually draw comics or do my illustrations. To clarify, this is not the hustle mindset of I need to make every minute productive, otherwise the sun will explode, I will explode, everything will explode. This is more like I only have this certain amount of time, so what do I feel like doing right now? The time is important, not the project. My motivation or interest will vary, but the time does not. It's less about what you're doing and it's more about the fact that you're doing it in the first place. This means that finishing stuff is the top priority. That's why I jump between few projects that have very different processes. If I find out that I hate an idea, I just stop working on it. It's about trying to learn the difference between, oh, this is hard, this project is super challenging, and it's totally out of my comfort zone. Or, I hate this idea, I hate this project, I don't connect with the message anymore. I'm done. Or how can I simplify this project enough so that it just gets done? Also, I want to clarify, I'm not working for anyone. These are personal projects. No one's forcing you to do this. So if you like hate a project and you don't want to do it anymore, just drop it and that's totally fine. For me, I usually save it so that future me, whenever she decides, she can look back and use it however. What's really, really interesting is that the projects that actually get done are usually the ones that are most important to me, the ones that mean a lot to me. They're important and I'm excited about them, so they get done a lot faster. This process is about accepting that our mood, our feeling, our motivation, that will always be in flux and taking advantage of that. Also, of the fact that life gets in the way. Honestly, I feel a lot better operating in this way because it helps me not be so serious with my work. It's all about just having fun and watching your ideas come to life. I'm not so precious with my work anymore. Like if it works out, that's great. If it doesn't, then I save it for future me and I just move on. Whenever I think of this process, it kind of reminds me of that scene from Finding Nemo with Marlin and Dory, how they're jumping between all the jellyfish and things. Again, it's not about 
being busy or overworking yourself. It's about that mindset shift from thinking about the end result to just enjoying the process and having fun and being light and playing with your work. I mentioned this in my social media video, but because I have all this stuff, all these projects in rotation currently, by the time I actually finish and release them to everybody, I don't care necessarily about what people think of the project. Even if it's nice, even if it's bad, I appreciate the nice stuff, I really do, but I'm not so focused on it because I'm already working on the next cycle of stuff. It's really nice because no matter what happens, I'll use my sketchbook and I'll draw my silly little cartoons every day. It may be good, it may be bad, but it sure is fun. <laughs> so yeah, take what you want, leave what you want. I don't care, I'll still be here. Bye! <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.